What's up, it's Jose Mangan here for Dean Guitars, NAMM 2016, with an idol friend, hero in life, Dave Mustaine. What's up, brother? Oh, man. Yeah. Great night tonight. It's so good to be with you. Hey, happy release week uh, with Thank Dystopia you. coming out just a few days ago. Uh, amazing 15th studio Thank album from Megadeth, and we had a cool listening party at Affliction Studios, and Dave was there, and the album got so many great reviews and people are it has did you see all the social media about the album it's, and everything you know it's crazy you know we just were having fun and and you know i mean our whole scene thrash speed metal is about like loving on each other and having fun and and not like getting judgmental and shit and i think that you know what goes around comes around it's really cool right now for us to be the ones that are getting the attention because there's so many great bands right now and especially in the whole speed and thrash metal genre and for us to be the ones that are getting the attention right now, it's just a great feeling. Amazing playing on this album. And Thanks. the tour starts in a month with yeah. Suicidal Tendencies, yeah. Children of Odom, and Havoc. Yeah, with uh, one of my great friends, Mike Muir, and Children of Bodom with Alexi, with an amazing guitar player. And with Havoc, this dude came up to our party the other night at your, your studio, and he gets right in my face, and he goes like, ha, 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 ha. And I was like, who are you? And he goes, I'm David from Havoc. And I was like, oh, my God. Because he was so happy and just so brilliant and just so fresh and stuff to come up and have that kind of energy and to be in front of me. I was like, either he was like on ecstasy or he was like in a metal band that was just ready to break. And I was so excited for him. And I'm so excited for our tour to be able to be around him. But the thing is, it's like you, you see the dude and, and he just has this energy that reminds me of like what our whole scene's about. Yep. It's, it, it's what it's, everything's about. It's like a, being happy. All of us, like we're together. We, when we're together, we have such a great time. And, and that's the difference between metal music and pop music because pop's kind of a boring thing. It wears off. Metal music is forever. It's for life, man. That's yeah, why we're all here. A way of life. And that's it why is. all your fans are going to be coming out to the tour and yeah, also picking totally. up Dystopia. Totally. You and Pam uh, moving out to Tennessee about a year ago mm -hmm. for your daughter Electra, who's a country music singer now. And um, really, co I, I heard she covered a Megadeth song and mm -hmm. like, did it all mm -hmm. original in her own way. And there's also in this move out to Nashville, a reality TV show that was filmed uh, around the Mustangs going from California to Tennessee. <laughs> okay. And, but the re and the reason being, let me set it up, the reason being because you wanted to go and help support her career. How do career. I answer this? How do I answer well, this? Well, I mean... Yeah, of course. Dude, you're a dad. You love your kids, man. I know you. I would move to Tennessee. Yeah, of course yeah. you would, man. You would move to the moon, like... Yep for your kids I mean anybody that really loves their kids would do that and I think that's the difference between uh, what's happened to uh, so many of us in, in, in our generation and the generations between who I am and the Millennials right now is that so many parents wouldn't do the things that you or I would do for our kids. Yeah. Hey, but let's talk, we're, here, we're hanging out at NAMM, uh, you know, you just signed a big uh, hour and a half uh, session out there signing autographs for uh, Dave Mustaine, Megadeth fans, and there's a lot of cool guitars here. I mean, uh, there's one that you were just excited to, to be holding earlier. Uh, I, was. I, I, I was here when Dave was uh, holding, stiff. yeah, <laughs> gave him a stiffy there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and, and is this one of your is this one of your new ones? What is this? And and tell me about this is a Dean Stradivarius T, black with cream binding, which is the first one I've ever seen. Why don't you hold that Holy Grail one right there? Oh, the Holy Grail. We were talking about okay. this the other night, and you, you were. Want to see a guitar. I want you to see something. When I went to Israel, I went into Golgotha, and I saw the rock. Uh, which was the rock that Jesus was supposedly um, executed on, and there's a hole in the ground where his cross went into, where you can stick your hand into the ground to feel where the cross was. And I did all that. Now, whether it's real or it's not, there was a, a heavy impression that was laid on me, and I thought how great it would be to make a guitar that was blood red with 24 karat gold inlaid on it. There's only 20. Uh, there's only 33 of these. 25 were sold so far at this uh, NAM show, so there's, that means there's only eight left. And if you don't buy the remaining eight, you suck. <laughs> But I mean, how do you come up with this concept with the whole you know, blood and the gold? The thing is, is Jose, you know me, man. I mean, 
we're we're like totally like metal guys, right? We we think metal. This to me is like metal. It's blood and gold. It's like the Holy Grail. It, and you know, it's it, 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 except you see the dude at the bridge where he goes like European or whatever, you know, uh, unladen swallow, you know, that kind of stuff. But you know, that makes the Holy Grail thing a whole joke. The knights that say knee. But if you really, really think about the Holy Grail, the goblet, the blood. If you think about, you know, the quality, the the scale, the dimension, the playing ability, the sound, everything that goes into this guitar, there, there's, this is it, man. You know, I, there may be guitars that play similar to this, but there are no guitars that are equal to this. It's a beautiful piece of instrument, yeah, Brother Dave. And this is coming out, I mean, th people can get this. There's only eight of them yeah. left. <laughs> there's only eight well, of them left in the world. Now there's none, so... I imagine by now, yeah. by now, there's none. Yeah, so, honestly, it's awesome though. It's really cool. Right? We'll, yeah. we'll we'll make more. Right we'll make more. So, Dave, what about? No, there, no. honestly, no. there's 33 of them. That's it. Whoever has these holy grails, you are like the dudes that own the 12 chairs. You are very, very blessed. Or you're like Indiana Jones when he got yeah, the that's it. <laughs> the thing in Raiders of the Lost Ark. Dude, yeah. uh, totally. Yeah. There, there, there are 33 of those guitars, that's it. There are no more. Hey, uh, Dave, what about this uh, Zero with the Dystopia cover on it? Oh, dude. That's this, sick. Now, Pe a lot of fans were taking pictures all weekend here at our Dean Guitars NAM. It's huge for Dean Guitars because they get to take this guitar and show the world with all that artwork. Now, if, if it was... Uh, up to me, I would have this guitar in every single meet and greet package for the fans that get to do the uh, Dystopia tour. Unfortunately, we can't fill the orders right now for some reason. There's just not enough of these guitars, which is a really good problem to have. So um, I look at this guitar and I, and, I, and I look at like, okay, the fact that, look at the back of it. There's a heel. It's not a bolt-on. It's not like one of those guitars that are cheap guitar, like, you know, most Gibsons, Fenders, all those guitars where they, they just bolt the neck on. This is a one-piece guitar, and you've got this brilliant artwork here, and it's just, it's one of the most superior guitars. It, it, you never hear a, a carpenter blame his tools. You just don't. Yeah. You just don't. And if you really, really want to be serious and you want to be in this business, you have to play the best. And you've been with us for uh, a long Ten time, years. Dave. Yeah. Ten years, man. It's, it's only the beginning. Hey, so what's next for, for Dave and Dean and what's next for... Well, we've got a couple other our, um, ideas that we've been talking about. We've been talking about introducing a new uh, model, uh, actually two. And we've been uh, discussing a couple things that we're going to do to hot rod a couple of models that we have that uh, are part of the line right now. Um, the Mako, we're talking about doing something that's a studio version that will completely blow people's minds. So it's something that we had an extensive talk tonight with Seymour Duncan's people on, on how to have Seymour Duncan come up with a really creative uh, pickup that would uh, cross over... Uh, acoustic type guitar with an electric type guitar and make something that uh, a really hot shot guitar player would go into the studio with and he would be able to sit down and say okay I'm ready I've got my one guitar that I can do studio acoustic performances whether it's electric or acoustic whether it simulates acoustic or it fucking rips in electric land and and the guys were uh, from Seymour Duncan were just like yeah, this is so exciting. For me, when you get to the point where you see people at that caliber of people who know their job, get excited about something like that, you know you're onto something. I've really tried to push a lot of things. I mean, there's so many things I've pushed. So this whole thing now is, is a whole new uh, chapter for us. And, and I, and I want to see it happen. I want to see it happen not only for me, but for everybody. 
cool, man. A lot of cool yeah. stuff. I have yeah. one of your Makos. Uh, yeah. You gave it to me after you guys performed uh, at Sirius XM a few yes, years I ago. I love you. I want you to have one of those guitars. I want because the guitar is like it, it plays itself. It's a brilliant sounding guitar. Beautiful. You know that. I know. I play it all the time. It, it's, it's so easy to play. You I don't can, want to rub off the, dude, the signature you can though. Play Holy Wars on that. You know that. That's I that shredded one time. So true good. story. I, that guitar is so good. He could play Holy Wars on it. <laughs> so Dave, man, I want to thank you for um, hanging out with us here at uh, at our Dean Guitars uh, D Drum booth here at NAM and uh, all the cool stuff that we did at the Affliction Studios with the listening party. It was an uh, honor to have you there and you and Pam and Kiko uh, and the entire 5B crew. And then of course uh, all week on Sirius XM Liquid Metal, we were, yeah. were playing your music and so I heard I heard Poisonous Shadows uh, on the drive over here mm -hmm. to the Anaheim Convention Center yeah. with your intro on it. And it's yeah. really cool to hear your voice on the radio every hour. So Dude. thank you, Dave. You have no idea how grateful we are for you. And and I got to tell you, people who are unaware of who you are and your responsibility for credibility in the metal world, you're like the real Don Steele of metal right now. Don Steele, dude. Yeah, I mean, like <laughs> Someone tweet that. Of, of like what's real. You you really are the Don Cornelius of what matters right now. You You are the voice of our generation. I love you, dude. You're well, so badass. Thank, dude, the, the, the feeling is mutual, as you know, and I'm just a, I'm a big fan and a big student of metal, and uh, I love to push it uh, to the world uh, in nice, cool, positive ways, and I uh, always love supporting you and your bands and your guitars and all the cool stuff and your family. So um, much love to Dave Mustaine. Thanks to Dean Guitars for having us here, and uh, this wraps up NAMM 2016, brother. Thank you, brother Dave. Yeah.